plug A, Zoltan B. Let's hit the random button. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Random. Okay. The NGC. We've done the NGB, not the NGC. Ship numero 650. So I haven't beat an NG run yet, but I uh, got close last night. Nice, Psy Guy. Also, what's up, Black Sabbath? How you doing today, bud? Hope you're having a good day. Do do. I always get a very high scores with this one. I don't know why. Yeah, the NGC is pretty strong. I mean, it to get it starts with hacking, so you have that. Uh, and it also starts with dual lasers, so that's amazing. And then you have a beam drone, which is okay at best, but uh, it's at least somewhat useful. We have the defense scrambler, which sells for 40 fucking scrap, which is bananas. Good, Billy. Thanks for asking. Cool. Glad to hear it. We can sell that defense scrambler early and make some pretty sweet purchases, depending on uh, what we are presented with. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, good luck. Have fun. Do good. Don't die. Kill all ally victory and OBS. We better get in there and get started. Uh... We do have a clone bay on the ship. I like having the Lanius in piloting. It's my, um, definitely my preferred thing. The only system I'm really probably going to be looking for here is, um, mind control. Probably won't get cloaking on the ship. Depends, though. Do you ever do a drone run build at the end of the game? I would try not to because it's not, you know, good. That's, like, the main problem is that it isn't any good. Okay. Okay, so they can't deal me damage with the setup that they've chosen to have online, so we're just gonna use dual lasers and shoot at their piloting. Started a fire in there. Interesting. But yeah, what's up, Neonemi? How you doing today? to escape wait a second did I start a fire in their piloting and they're not able to repair it that might be what's going on right now no I guess not <laughs> I'm not going to train versus a basic laser ship here, I don't think. I mean, I, I kind of thought about it once they got low on hull, but since they decided to start running away, then that wasn't going to happen. There was a fire, but they the one of the guys put it out. All right. Well, that was fucking awesome. Let's go. We got a fucking Uncle Kevin over here. You literally said you started a fire. Well, shit. I said he put it out. You you could tell because like he because they started repairing the system. And, but I, so I was gonna get him really low, possibly, and then think about it. But I mean, we're gonna kind of get a crew kill there. Okay. Yeah, the quest marker. Okie dokie. Well, we could probably hit that again. I come at the perfect time. Indeed. Indeed. Definitely 100% USDA certified cheat cheateronies, you know what I mean? So, what's up, Boltsy? How come you never get bribes like that? Because you're not good like me. I get those every single uh, fight. I get those kind of surrender offers. I'm going to end this fight quickly if I can. So we'll get the drone online.
What's the random aspect of this? Random ships? We are random non-repeating through the set of 28 ships. So we've completed two full sets of random 28 ships. And now we're working on our third full playthrough. There is no ship... Yeah, there's there's a random button uh, when you're selecting stuff, Filthy. Yep. In the ship select screen. The ship starts with a million drones, yeah. Do you ever run a drone build at the end of the game? I answered that question, Psy Guy. I said, not if I can help it, because it's not very good. I'm gonna try and take like a one or two more jumps before going to that store. Wow. Okay, attack it for sure. <laughs> Sorry you were distracted. I, I don't know. I feel like that's that's totally fine. Uh, but this is this is what I imagine. Uh, this is what I imagine happened. It's like what the hell is this? My fan's making a funny noise. I imagine I this is what I imagine like you, you, you that what happened for you, Psy Guy, where where you're like, "Hey Billy, what's that uh what's that thing that you wanted to do with the drones?" Hey, what was that drone thing? The what was that thing you wanted to do with the drones? <laughs> Time for butt stream. God damn it, butt spot. Why is my camera so red? problem with popular streamers popular streamers like Billy what Kirby why am I so red yeah I don't know my camera thinks that I'm red they're very normal sized hands as noted by our normal sized emote okay nice we'll take the distress into the store that sounds good to me Okay. Alright, let's see what the store's got. Ooh, baby, they got a heavy laser. I have a fire beam, but uh, I don't really need that. I don't really need much, like anything, for this, really, but. Well, then we're gonna buy the heavy laser for sure. I could buy mind control, too. If I wanted. We could use like dual laser, heavy laser, heavy laser and win the run with that. Let's just get mind control right now. Fuck it. I need to get my shields up still, but... Guaranteed double. Nice. So many potential crew kills with that fire beam, though. Yeah, we have a fire beam for crew kills. It's called mind control. It's called a heavy laser. The hell of a sector one. Yes. All right, listen.
Fuck. Super cheating ship, like it's ridiculous. There we go. God damn. Your Lanius pilot, this run is already hype, it's super hype. Good. This sector one is absurd. Five scrap or five jumps. Alright. So I'm gonna get my shields up to level two before I get this heavy laser online. That would cost 40 scrap to get that heavy laser online. Okay. Wow. Dude, this is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Why are Lanius pilots so good? Why are Lanius pilots, pilots good? They aren't hurt by breaches? No, they're not particularly great pilots. They're not any better than any, anybody else. This ship is just like, a, it's kind of tough to, it's actually tougher to vent uh, engines on this ship than it is piloting, kind of, but it's kind of tough to vent piloting. And it's kind of useful to not have oxygen in your piloting, so that way you can like leave the room and the enemy that's boarding you in there. If, if an enemy is boarding you in there, he'll just leave the room immediately. So. Able to offer them assistance. Nice. Wow. That's insane. This whole run is insane. It's insane, I tell ya. Trekler with the 26 months. It's been 300 years. Thank you so very so blah, blah, blah. Thank you so very much, Trekler, for the 26 months of being the boss. Thank you so very much for the support. Don't leave the love lion around, alright? Make sure you pick it up and take it with you, alright? All right, all right, all right. Four hull points repaired. A long range scanner, what the fuck? All right. Uh, it's just snap, sell the beam drone. All right. Billy Chat Wow 64. Uh, okay. There's a Kirby in the shop. Yeah. It's not long range scanners, though. I do need a defense drone. It's kind of like the most important thing that I need. Steven, we need you so bad. Oh, he ran to the med bay. Man. Yeah, why don't, why don't you just fight each other? Why don't you just let that fire just kind of do its thing, all right? Wow, 64 runs. Yep, indeed. How's it going, though, Steel? Hope you're having a good day. I need their ship not to burn down. No! Oh. Well, well, butts. 
What are we looking for first? 50 scrap or weapons too? Uh, forty forty scrap is what I want for this to get. I already have shields to level two, so we already got that fifty scrap. We've already we've already made a lot of money. I mean, I got, we got a point of reactor power even. Okay. Sector 1 has been insane, yeah. I mean, we got a combat. Oh, nice. Let's go. This run is absolutely absurd. NG, sure. Reactor upgrade is nice. Where's our sincere gratitude? That's true. Probably didn't even get any sincere gratitude. I should probably get my sensors to level two, but like I want to make sure that I get 50 scrap for this for the defense drone. I wasn't sure if Steven or the heavy lasers was our priority. Oh, I see what you're saying. Well, if I like saw a store and like I had 45 scrap, and I wouldn't like tur get the weapon online in that case. I'd try and like take an extra jump or two to get to 50 scrap and then go to the store. But I didn't. There's just like we we're at the end of that sector, right? Oh my god. Can't use mind control here. Stupid fucking slugs, anyways. Good thing we have hacking. Yeah, no shit. A two shielded slug ship in an engine controlled sector? Like, what the fuck is going on? If he didn't have a weapon that could deal me damage there, then that would be different, but... No oxygen and a breach. Yeah, the slug repair gel gets them pretty repaired pretty quick, though. So 18 scrap, contact refugees. All right, good. Stress with a ship detected. Okay. With two levels of oxygen, the ship get fire files mixed up with the laser. With two levels of oxygen, did the ship files get mixed up with the later sector? No, no, that's just that's just pretty uncommon. Because he had like one level of engines there, right? We're definitely going to go ahead and go for a crew kill here. No, yeah, we're not out of missiles anymore. That's nice. Ooh, started a fire, too. Very nice. Wow, the pilot does not give a damn. <laughs> oh man is this training i could train here i think we're a little too op to train against the ship that isn't shooting two shots at us if they had two heavy lasers i'd do it i think the ship is just a little too strong you know do it for a little bit. Okay. 
Oh, poor Debbie. You're really low on health. Yeah, very, very low on health. Alright. 15 scrap, 3 fuel, 2 missiles. Nice. Uh, I'm not going to give them anything there. Sense a crew kill. Indeed. Alright, so 59 scrap. I have enough to purchase a defense drone now. I also want to get my sensors to level 2. How many jumps do I have in this sector? This layout's a little bit strange. Okay. Looks like nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine. Exit. I don't think that's 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 not gonna be right. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wait, this isn't connect up here at all uh, weird super weird all right fine gotta watch yesterday's vod i'm struggling to get a zoltan v win yeah what, what did uh what did, what did we end up with for the zoltan v i don't know if it was super insane oh yeah no it was pretty rough going for a while it was probably an all right one to watch yeah, we, we got hacking very late, and we were kind of struggling a little bit. I mean, that's a that's just too too good of a price for us to pass up here. Even if though we're not like desperate for fuel. Um, definitely securing the cash is going to be what we're interested in here. We could get a Steven out of this. We're going to get a guaranteed drone and, uh, resources. If I booby trap the cash, we delay the fleet by two jumps, but, uh, the sector layout doesn't really benefit us very much. And we're only in sector two. So, like, how much is, is two extra jumps in sector two going to be better than a random drone, which at least costs, uh, is going to get us 15 scrap or, or, or more? Plus this resources on top? No. No, probably not. So, 18 scrap. And that, that sells for 17, I think. So, sweet. Opportunity butt costs 101. That's right. That's right, butt spot. Don't know, Steven. No, not yet. I'm not going to regret this decision. You're going to regret your face. Being so stupid. Cloaking for you, sir. Uh, unless I start a fire, I don't think I can actually get this crew kill. Or I, I could hack, I guess. Like, that would be totally fine, too. But he's got one too much health. I can only deal him 60 points of damage by shooting at him. I could hack his oxygen or his med bay. Probably a little bit more entertaining to hack his oxygen. So you can see that even though we've destroyed the system, as long as we start the hack before the system uh, is destroyed, then we it still hacks for the duration of the hack, which is nice. He's gonna go there after he finishes repairing. Not no more, he ain't. 
How much oxygen does level 3 hack take? A lot. <laughs> I don't know exactly. So you can see his progress being made on the repair. What's up, Dr. Wilco? How you doing today? I could have let him repair it and just destroy it and then hacked it immediately and shot it down, but... I hate to I hate to let him have even a moment of a feeling that he could succeed, right? Nice. What's up, QC? Again, Anarcher gets the name. Your shirt uh, is extra sparkly. Yeah, I guess it is kind of sparkly. A little bit too green. Oh shit! Do you get? No, don't don't go in there. What a horrible way to die! Mind controlled into suffocating. Yeah, well, it's all pretty terrible. Let's attempt to download here. See what... Oh, we actually succeeded. Oh, okay. I mean, I know we have long-range scanners, but still. Good lord, what an OP run. Alright, aid the civilian ship. Go back into lurk mode as lunch is over. Okay, sounds good. No more oxygen for you, Mantis scum. Oh, no, no, no. I think not. <laughs> good good 15 scrap attempt to contact civilian ship they were a science vessel cool all right we have three jumps we're gonna go here here store exit that's gonna be the plan make crew kills look so easy well, I mean, we did get lucky with the fire there and the oxygen, but we certainly didn't need it for the crew kill. Wow. Mind control makes crew kills very, very easy. This is why, I, like, instead of getting boarding on a ship, I would rather just get mind control. Because you get just as many crew kills with mind control, and it's just, like, more versatile. Right? So, I like it. Frick, look at the hair in my eye. Hopefully they have a defense drone. If they don't, um, we'll accept their offer of surrender, sure. Uh, it's fine if they don't. And the rest of their crew members are not yours. Yeah, that's true. If they don't, then we have plenty of stuff to upgrade on my own ship. They got a defense drone. They have an auto reloader as well, but eh. I could buy one of these lasers because like it's possible we could end up stuck with this for a long period of time, but I think I'm just going to hold out because I could use this. I could win the run with this. Technically, it wouldn't be super fun. 
uh, at all. <laughs> but I think I'd rather try to wait for, like, an actual... Something that can, like, this can't start a fire, and this only does breaches, and it's much slower than these. I'd rather have a burst laser one, at the very least. So. Yeah, the Ion's okay. Um, but it only, oh, the only thing it ever does is take down one point of shield. And I already have hacking, so I'm not, like, super concerned about that. Get my hacking level two. No loader though. Yeah, getting the loader there is fine, but I'm just not gonna spend the money on it because I'm just gonna upgrade some other things. I think it's totally fine to get that. Ion for early oxygen lowering. Well, their their shields would have to be down, and I like I, in order for it to like hit their oxygen with ion, and I can just use hack and I can just shoot it down. I don't need to use ion. I can hack it. As, as well, against the two-shielded ship, we can just hack their oxygen itself. Alright, what's your specialty? My doors. Wow, for eight scrap? Jesus. Okay, absolutely. We got some dude upgrades. The run just keeps getting better and better. The street's gonna stop at 69, right? I don't know. Might stop before that. Hopefully it stops after that. This might be the fastest run I've ever seen you do. We're going very fast. This run is very strong. Yeah, it's 35. I think you're right. What's up with Cease? It's not even the most amount of wins that anybody's gotten in 69. Aid the civilian. sure i trust an eight scrap door upgrade that's some shoddy work yeah yeah that's true it's probably pretty pretty questionable what's up moku how you doing today it's kind of a scary ship yeah i'm thinking about hacking is um weapons but i have a defense drone so I could just, like, hack his piloting, and that's probably okay, too. So I can guarantee a shot in his weapons, and I might... And I, it's probably gonna disable this, and I'll have to still use a defense drone, but... I'm the same color as the enemy ships. Oh. Great. Perfect. Nice dodge. Cool. Alright. It's 10 evasion here. Get him, Angie! Beat him up! I don't mind uh, trying to dodge this again. So I'd just rather hit the shields there. You got fires and your weapons. Your weapons, they don't fucking work anymore. Dude, come on. Thank you. Jesus.
Oh, uh, you're going back to RimWorld. The psychic drone ship crashed and spawned a centipede mechanoid that fucking murdered one of my dogs. Yeah, well, he shouldn't have been hanging around the, the centipede. I'm just saying. Seymour! The house is on fire! No, Mother, it's just the Northern Lights. No, Mother. Come on, fires. Alright, we're just gonna auto fire our weapons so we can train. Got some good oxygen, yep. Yeah, that high level of oxygen is just making sure that he can have these pet fires forever and ever. It's at least level two anyway. It might be level three, I suppose. I can't deal damage to their ship. I don't know what the hell to do. Oh my god. Eventually, he's going to get so low on health that he will stop being able to put out the fires. Uh, the thing is, is, like, I don't know. Like, hopefully their oxygen burns down before their... Um, like, I guess I should probably uh, turn on the hacking. So that way, when the, when the uh, fire spreads into the piloting, he will not be able to get away before he burns to death. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. How much is heavy laser to crew? Oh, yeah, it does 30. It's too late now, though. I'm trying to train my weapons. So I'm just going to let him burn to death. He should burn to death. Should. See, I told you. 31 scrap, three fuel, two missiles, contact the civvies. Another science vessel. We've just made so much money already. Holy crap. Why is your piloting without oxygen? The Lanius that is manning the system removes oxygen wherever he goes. Everywhere the Lanius goes, people want to know where's the oxygen. I'm not surrendering my crew to no damn slavers. Screw that. Civvies are generous today. Yep. goes people want to know where the oxygen goes yeah I was thinking of that that everywhere we go people want to know where's the O2 but yeah that works too I guess we'll just miss then. I was kind of hoping to save that dear. Uh, oh no. Oh, Mantis. Oh, Mantis, you poor bastard. What the hell is going on here? Okay. 
fine. What the fuck is happening? Stop it! Trying to escape. Fuck that. Why do all these ships need to have med bays? Ah, oh, I fucked up. Well, I could use hacking. <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely not. There we go. See, that's much better. Mantis, Rockman, or NG. Much, much better. We'll take the Rockman. We already have NGs. Uh, the Mantis will be the next one that I would choose, but uh, we, the Rockman gives us more blue options, so... Wasn't one of our previous crew that we hired named Mikhail as well? Oh, an NG, I guess. We have three NG. Why? <laughs> Actually, you should probably put the Rock in the shields... Uh, it's pretty difficult to vent shields on this ship. Okay. Man, this sector layout's kind of butts, because, like, the only thing that connects to the exit is this beacon, as far as, like, stuff that connects to the rest of the sector. Six, seven. So I got six and a half jumps for this beacon. Would it be better to keep the engine shields given that it's close to the system just for the fast movement in case repairs are needed? Yes, except for the one thing that we have three engines. But also the rock can just sit in shields and repair it. Again. Doesn't really matter too much when we have three NGs. What's up, Heinous? How you doing today? Give me 31 scrap. Let's go. Oh, this music's so freaking good. It's just so freaking good. Maybe I do have six full jumps. But, but, but. <laughs> But, but, yeah, we definitely have five full, but I'm uh, probably gonna just to be able to let's see one, two, three, four, five. I'd have to dive twice. Fuck. The stupid fucking sector layout is so shitty. <laughs> Whatever. Putzbot's learning to communicate, yep. It's another auto reloader. It's a backup battery as well. I guess I get an auto reloader. It's all right. It's pretty good. Helps me fire my shot just a little teensy bit faster. It's a, one of the problems with this, this particular weapon setup firing so much faster is like this kind of a setup doesn't fire enough shots yet where I, ha where I can actually like get damage through without hacking usually like i can technically deal damage against two shielded ships but i have to hit all three shots right so it's like if i'm gonna target hacking on the system wait for the time 
for the hacking to get there and then engage the hacking for to hack down three levels of shields. The auto reloader is not going to help us at all. Right? Because I'm just going to be sitting there waiting for my hacking to finish taking down their shields. So, like, that's kind of the reason that I'm not really super interested in auto reloaders right now. Like, if we had a burst laser 2 in this setup or a flak in this setup, that would be different and that would be better. But we just don't have that stuff, so. Eh, I'm just not gonna buy it. Did Billy say 24 hour stream? Fuck no! Oh my god. Cloge with the five bucks. I need to get packing for my camping trip around uh, aboard the pseudo submarine, so I better get on that. Nice. Catch a Monday. P.S. My mom got a brand new used car, and it had a wasp nest in the lift gate crevice. Nice. You've got your very own wasp car, or at least your mom does. Thank you so very much for the five bucks, Clutch. I really do appreciate it. All of the love. Welcome back to the pseudo submarine. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. So enjoy your uh, camping trip. Enjoy your little uh, camperino day. You know, I'm gonna hack weapons here because otherwise I'm not gonna be able to like see their crew anyway. So seems fine. Damn. I think he's boarding me with two crew. Do, do. Upgrading from a 2002 Toyota to a 1997 Subaru. Wow. I like Subarus. On a Subaru for a little while. It uh, it worked well. I beat the shit out of it. It never stopped really working. It's just it's had some electrical problems that I didn't know how to fix, so I ended up selling it. But. Have you ever done a 24-hour stream? I've done like 15 24-hour streams, McKean. Yeah, I've done ton, plenty. 15 or 20, maybe even, I don't know. I used to do them quite a bit, but I don't do them anymore because I stream six days a week, so I would rather just do like long streams. But I don't even really do that a whole lot because, I don't know, for me it's like, it's like this balance of like uh taking time off of the stream so that when i come to the stream i do a good job with the stream it's not like a like when i used to work in the restaurant i could operate on like little to no sleep i could just operate on like two hours of sleep i could do everything as far as the restaurant's concerned with my eyes closed like uh it's no no problem like i could do ordering and deal with customers make food and like deliver it do whatever like that's but when you're doing something uh, of this kind of nature where you're kind of presenting uh, uh like where you're like we're, we're, we're doing the stream right so that it's like it kind of takes a different kind of Uh, a different kind of thing that uh, I'm not really like used to you can't just like you can't just like slam time into it really and just like get results it doesn't really like there's certainly like the the grind but it's still you need to like be able to do do a good job and if you don't do uh, a good job then uh, your stream's not very, very good, you know. There we go. Do 20, do 24 hour streams improve growth rate or was the difference negligible? Eh, it wasn't really, didn't really improve growth. What I would probably say that it did was like, it was like a thing to like kind of show my dedication to the stream and it was kind of like a party for those of us that were like in the community I mean sometimes it helps uh, if we, uh, you know if you're doing some kind of a release thing and you want to celebrate or whatever it's 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 okay but it's not like 
Oh my god, good thing I did that 24-hour stream. I would never be where I was today if it weren't for that. Like, certainly if I were to look back at the history of my stream and, like, how we got where we are today, I've had, like, a lot of ups and downs as far as, like, viewer counts go. As far as, like, building up and, and like, and then... And then, like, switching games and yada yada. Like, I really like... To put, there's, like, t two things. It's, like... Two, two of the biggest things with, like, becoming successful, and I, like, hesitate to even use the word, like, successful when I'm regarding to my stream, because I, I don't know, whatever. That's a different thing. But anyway, there's, like, two things that I would say that are most important, and that's, like, timing and luck. Like, those two things are really important. I agree for the most part, but in hindsight, the long streams would often make three or four times money per hour. Depends on the extra hours or worth the extra money to you. Yeah, I never see. I've never had that kind of result. Like nowhere near. It was actually like I, I made less, like much less per hour. If I were to break it down like that. Your your uh, your long streams are generally saw style like subathon stuff. Oh, okay, sure, sure. Personally, I love your stream schedule, though. Thanks. I'm glad. I'm glad. It's exactly uh, the second half of my workday, and it's the perfect background noise for work. Cool. Especially with the FTL soundtracks, yeah. Yeah, for me, it's, it's very important for me to to have like a, a stream schedule because like I like having a time where I'm here like at the same time every like six days a week so that you can like count on me being here that's pretty important to me um the, the like scheduling out like what games I'm actually intending to play over time I did that for a short period of time and it drove me absolutely insane like if I were to like look at a schedule and see like what I had coming up like planned and like I didn't want to do it it would make me like not want to even start the stream at all so I stopped doing that altogether what's up Koopa how are you doing today I'm doing very well but yeah I think that like doing separate uh, stream times is definitely can be good like i think that i think that it would be better to like maybe have not necessarily do 24 hours at least for me like i could have some days where i do different times but and i do do that but when i do a different time i usually do completely different stuff so i don't know 27 scrap and three fuel very nice very nice Hardest part of being a streamer is striking a balance in so many regards. Very much so. Like, I certainly try to think about it a lot more now than I than I did, like, like a few years ago, where I was just, like, where I was streaming seven days a week and just, like, like pushing, like, 12 hours, like, a, a day every day. Like, I would start the stream insanely early, like, every single day. Uh, I just started like 9 a.m. Just like just really try and just like push and push and push and push and like I just didn't get results or have uh, <clears throat> Like have good success with with doing that kind of stuff and it like really burned me the fuck out like really bad 
Like there's, I've had several times during during my kind of stream career up to this point where I've where I've not wanted to stream anymore. Like if I have to do this, that, or the other thing, then I'm just not gonna do this anymore. Like I'd rather just go, you know, I'll just work work at a McDonald's or something. I don't know. I could get something better than that. I'd reckon, but. But I, like that would be more enjoyable to me. Like that, not that's not the case now. But but that has been like uh, a thought before, and uh, and I try to do everything that I can to to not have that end up being the case, right? Because that's kind of like a shitty place to be, where you're like, you know, not not really enjoying what you do. Especially when it's not something that you're doing for 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 the money. Don't think a schedule improves the viewing experience that much. Not even sure it improves it at all. I mean, yeah, I guess that's your opinion, Zoiks. That's fine. I, I'm I'm sure that there's there's some people that don't really care whether or not I'm here at a very specific time or not but to me it's important because to me it's it's like going in and clocking in or it's like and I and I know that there's some people that are like oh it's it's this time Billy should be on or whatever whether it's like actually at two or whether it's at like three or four or whatever time zone you're in regardless it's like you can you can be like oh it's this time Billy should be on and I like to be able to be there uh, for people for that Are we worse than the customers in food service? Well, it doesn't really have anything to do with you, uh, any, any of you. It just has to do with uh, what I need to do as a streamer, right? So, like, if I, there's been points where I'm like, where I don't want to do it because I don't enjoy what I'm doing, and it's kind of like, a frustrating thing to be doing something that you don't have a lot of like control over your it's kind of like you know how farmers like there's there's like a farmers are kind of like at the whim of of like of weather or whatever because like they can get completely dicked by the weather and like lose a lot of profit like lose all the profit they can lose a lot and uh and like that's kind of like having like not having certainty that you're going to be doing well or or knowing whether things are going to be good or bad or like that kind of uncertainty is like stressful and that's kind of a somewhat of a thing that comes with uh with streaming and that's, uh, but anyway, so it's like, even the time, so like the time that I'm streaming and the time that I'm not streaming is all very important to streaming. Like in order, like the time that I take off, the time that I'm spending not streaming is important to me being able to come onto the stream and stream. So anyway. I, I live in Michigan. I live in Detroit. What's up, Chuckles? How you doing today? I have different game I enjoy watching and different streamers per game. I'm the same same way, Karik. Yeah, same way. Um. Okay. This is a oh, fuck's sake, man. Jesus Christ. Oh no. Come on, man. <sighs> okay.
It's definitely not how I want to lose this run. Yeah, I understand that I'm taking damage game, trust me, I know. Alright, well, at least I got something offline. Uh, I can't do that. The heavy laser's too close to firing. Would have needed to do that differently. Fuck off, man. Okay. Alright, we're okay now. Holy crap, that was kind of sketchy. I should have hacked right at the start of the fight. I should have probably hacked drones right off the bat and just tried to destroy them. Okay. Yeah, this fight wasn't good for me, but... Uh... I was hoping that this could have been a ship that we trained against. But I didn't get a breach in his drones or anything. Yeah, that's happened to streamers like that I used to and like my schedule changed too. Like I years ago, like four years ago, I always used to stream and start my stream at 7 p.m. Eastern. And now a lot of times my stream is ending. It's like 8, 7 or 8 or whatever. So, um, so my, so my, I turned my stream back by five hours because I wanted to, because I felt like that would be a, a time that I would be able to like always make consistently. It gives me time, um, to, to be able to get like, like during business day, business hours kind of stuff done if I need to or whatever. So it's kind of like a, uh, in between second, like a kind of a second, early second shift, first and second shift kind of start time, whatever, but. FTL uh, is amazing if you can follow the run, but it, oh, if you only have like 30 minutes, it's quite hard, unfortunately. Sure. Yeah, I understand, Karik. <sighs> Yeah, it does give me time presence in Europe. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, US is like not always my number one viewing audience on my like metrics. So that's kind of interesting. Hopefully I'm not too bad of a uh Hopefully I'm not too bad of a U.S. representation <laughs> to, uh, to the EU viewers. You could have taken way more damage here. Well done. Woof. Yeah, that was definitely pretty sketchy, especially when my shields were down and then they were on fire or whatever. Like, it was pretty terrible. Uh, I guess I'm pretty okay with going to the solar flare, going back, and then going to the store, and then going to the exit. Sounds fine. Okay. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, glad you enjoy, uh, Medagnus. I'm sorry your Sundays are so bad. That might mean that sad times are ahead when Article 13 kicks in. I don't know if that's going to affect uh, this specifically, but it's possible. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Did you know that you don't have any shields? You don't have any evasion either. Okay. 
USA audience is not used to interaction with streamer they just watch. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. It is true that when uh, when a lot of EU people are going to bed, then uh, then then the chat chat activity drops like a stone. I think that ship was easier than the first ship of Sector Two, the Slug One. Yes, definitely, definitely bouncy. Kind of new to the stream, but you're becoming my go-to place to hang out. Very chill with a positive vibe. Glad you enjoy it, Sonic. It's my pleasure to be here for you. Glad, uh, glad you like it. I think, I think things are pretty positive around here for the most part. I'm not, like, always PG or whatever. I'm like, pretty, but I'm, like, pretty PG-13. Not, not, not without my swears, though. There was, like, a short period of time where I managed to, to, like, kind of get it to the point where I wasn't swearing a whole lot, but it's kind of like a part of, like, the, the restaurant... And it's just never, never really left me. Yeah, we're probably going to take the halberd beam here. Because it'll be a strong weapon setup for a final weapon setup. <laughs> yeah, fuck that, exactly. There's a neato butt. Oh my god, there's such a neato butt over there. Crazy. Alright, we have 20 fuel, 29 drones. Imagine if we had a hull repair drone. Wow, that would be amazing. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Swearing absolutely gives you sympathy points on my scale. People who don't swear are somewhat suspicious. <laughs> I don't think they're suspicious. Well, that's pretty funny. Are you saying you don't trust Bruce Boxleitner? Is that what you're telling me? I've never seen someone struggle so hard to say the word damn. Uh, we could... I'm gonna ignore hope for a ship fight. Nice. Uh, the ship can deal me damage, but... Nice. Good dodges. Okay. 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 to put out those fires i am very sorry i should have dealt one damage to his weapons even though we would have never gotten a breach with the dual lasers but that way i could have been able to like just have this firing at me and then i could train my evasion oh my god a fire just spread again Oh, man, you poor bastard. Oh, you guys are so dead. Oh, no. Should be training my weapons, by the way. Worst Rockman ever. Can't even put out the fucking fires.
You guys are so friggin' dead, it's unbelievable. Oh no. Yay! They're all dead, and I got mastery in my weapons! Hooray! Alright, I think we did probably about as good as we could have done, uh, given that sector layout. I could dive for this one, but I don't imagine I want to do that. Um, Edgy Homeworlds, if we end up getting that quest, is okay. It's alright. Pirate Control is also fine, and it also leads into more civilian sectors. It's fine. It's fine either way. Like fire control is totally, totally cool. All right, G Home Worlds quest. We get a full repair in the titanium system casing. It's like the stall ship quest. Pirate control. We can fight some pirates. Get more crew. Titanium system casing. More crew. Audio bug. Ion pulse and asteroid field. Uh, no way I'm going into that hemorrhoid field. The sector layout is... That's eh, not as bad as I thought. Should probably think about getting this halberd beam online. Kind of. Kind of, sort of. Explore. Six fuel. Oh my god. Definitely don't want to go to that solar flare. Fuck that. This is an event where you fight... You get boarded by crew and the solar flare, you just get no money. So we know that's a shit beacon. So we're not gonna go there. Uh, kind of want to get like a bar of engines and a bar of power here, and then I'll start thinking about the weapon a little bit more. Okay, I will attack the Schleberschkom. Attack him directly in the fish. No! Don't do it, beam drone. Don't fucking do it. Oh my god. Good job, Steven. Okay. Whatever, man. Nice. I'm waiting for the NG to get in there. That's what I'm waiting for. Dude, stop it. Stop doing the things you're doing to me right now. sacking out on me right now. No. No, I'm not gonna do that. Time. Oh, that's all right. Mind control's up. I could mind control here. I don't know if he's actually gonna kill him though. Maybe. Yeah, probably. How did that miss Steven? He's his hitbox is he's sucked in his gut. All right. His hitbox is a little bit smaller than it seems. All right. This looks like a crew kill to me. Thought you wanted a mantis. Yeah, but I'm not gonna 
Like, if I if I take a surrender offer like that there, it's basically like I'm paying money for the Mantis, and I'm not doing that. Fuck that. <laughs> he runs into the room, and he's like, nope. As soon as he entered that room, he's like, Hell no, to the no, 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 hell to the no. Very nice. If a shot is going to miss or has already missed the ship, I I think it can't hit the drone either. I uh, I think it can. I don't know if uh, I don't know if that's true. It's going to fix the shields before oxygen. Well, yeah, he's kind of panicking now. He's like, "Oh my god, I kind of need oxygen if I don't want to die." But uh yeah. Doesn't matter now. It's too late now, Jack. Too late. Maybe I should think about getting my shields to level 3 before I actually get the halberd to beam online just for ships, like, standard ships in Sector 4. There's not really a huge reason for me to be risky at all. In fact, there's, like, no reason <laughs> you could say. 50 scrap for a mantis, yeah. Okay, what's your specialty? My sensors for 45 scrap! Uh, excuse me, sir. Did you know that sensors cost 40 scrap to upgrade to level 3? Support local business. This guy is a scam artist. Declined. That costs 40 scrap. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, you got, uh, you got the sensors, eh? Yeah, I reckon I can fix that up for, uh... Uh, for forty-five scrap, for fucking I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Six jumps before we gotta go to the exit. Well, I don't have to go to the exit. We're probably gonna dive. So I have like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. Yeah, probably hit, hit up even more than that. That's like five, six, seven, eight, maybe even eight and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half here. Okay. Forty four what yesterday? What was forty four yesterday? Oh yeah, the uh the, the guy to upgrade the system. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't even want multiple stores, but there's not really any reason for me not to take all these beacons. Alright, fine, whatever. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Cease. Alright, let's give him a hand. Definitely getting Steven online here. I got all of the... Oh no! Steven, no! Steven! Oh no, Steven! Son of a bitch, Steven! <laughs> Oh, God. It's 
Steven, no! Oh my god, come on now, this is ridiculous. You need to, you need to stop it. This is unacceptable behavior. Aha, uh -huh. you shot your own stupid drone, you dumb dumb duty face. Uh ah! No! Stop attacking my systems! I think I can get a crew kill here. I can definitely get a crew kill here. Hang on. <laughs> oh, nice. I can get the crew kill right now. Much better. It's good. 40 scrap, one field, two missiles. Uh, why do we call him Steven? Because that's his name. It's just... I don't know. It's easier to praise a thing if you give it a name and so steven's the name that just happened to kind of stick you know and it's also easier to yell at something when you have a name for it right so steven it is nice all right great that's pretty good We have a, there's a command exclamation point Steven that has like one of the moments that was kind of like, uh, like one of the, like we, we've called the defense drone Steven for a very long time, but like we used to say Steven or like other names that were similar to that or not, not similar, but other, other names for the defense drone. But like at that point when that, uh. That was like kind of the point where it was really, really stuck. It was, it was, it was Steven. Hey, the FTL bot's back. They've tried to shut down my engines. Okay. Got a defense drone too, what an ass. What an absolute ass. Your ship can't really do me damage though, so that's nice for me. Nice, beautiful. You missed a blue choice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right, I did. In all seriousness, though, if I if I would have selected that blue option, I would not have hacking for this fight, and then I would never be able to defeat them. In the process of setting on the bot on AWS, I don't know what AWS means, but so it will run permanently from this Sunday. Oh, cool, nice, Steven, st come on, man. Thank, good job, Steven. Okay, I didn't think he was gonna do it. Cloud computing, okay. Oh, okay, so cloud computing, also known as attack wombo sex. Oh, okay. Now, okay, well, you could have just said attack wombo sex. I would have totally gotten it. I would have gotten it, but that's fine. Why did you run away? There were, you, you were fighting. What's wrong with you? Come 
Cloud computing equals computer at somebody else's house, yes. Also known as attack wombo sex, as we've previously discussed, right? Yeah, he's got some northern lights going on over there. I guess, yeah. I, I almost fired ahead of time there. Oh, come on! No, 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 no. He's out of missiles! Son of a bitch. He might destroy that. I don't know. No, I guess not. Okay, good. Oh, I don't think so, Rockman. It looks to me like your ship is no longer going to have any oxygen. I'm sorry, Beth. Listen, Beth, it's just... It's just not gonna work out. I'm sorry. Nope. Nope. Four fuel and 32 scrap a doo. Just sitting here on 179 scrap, ready to die to some horrifyingly disgusting offensively set up ship. You know, pretty standard. Call that the B1K maneuver. <laughs> 64 ships into a win streak. Eh, just, uh, just, uh use my two power weapons set up and not get my shields to level three. Don't mind if I do. High rule with a 20. Two months here for some good times. Made myself get kicked from a. Wait. Made myself get kicked from a community I've been a part of for five years due to their mismanagement. Oh my god, that sucks, High rule. I'm really sorry to hear that. But I am happy to hear about your 22 months of support here in this community. I mean, if you want. I could. I could ban you from this one if that would make you feel more happy. Just to make. No? Okay. How about the joke purge? Uh, you want me to purge you? Is that what you're trying to tell me, Hyrule? <laughs> but anyway, thank you so very much for the support, though. I really appreciate it. Not bringing that drama. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. I would appreciate it if you didn't. Appreciate the sentiment, but it's not necessary. I mean, listen, I'll just ban you. I tell you what. I tell you what, Hyrule. Here we go. I'm going to ban you. Ban. All right. There we go. Now, now you're banned. And now you're unbanned. Now, there you go. There you go. There you go. That's just for you, Hyrule. Just a little, uh, just a little love. <laughs> All the love. How often do you ban people? I've only really started banning people the last week. Because <laughs> I forgot how fun it is to just ban people for no reason. He's dead and he's now back. Yep. All the love, Hyrule. <laughs> Temporary excommunication. <laughs> yes.
All right, let's hail them. What's up here? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. What's up, Cookie? How you doing today? It's a quick vent to space. Um. Can you do a straw pull run where every time? No, I'm still doing win streak. Still doing win streak stuff. Not gonna do. Not gonna do any switch ups here. I'm just gonna try and hit so that way I can use the. God damn it! That sucks. Lame. When the streak is over. I don't know, maybe. I don't, I probably not. That doesn't sound super fun to me. <laughs> Sorry. Woo, Steven, you almost got blasted out of the friggin' sky there, man. I wanted to hit their weapons and then mind control their NG, but we did hit it once, which is all that I really wanted, so I guess I should be happy. Now I'm wondering whether or not I actually want to bother trying to get the crew kill here. Oh fuck. Oh my god, no! Oh my god. Verifiable luck sack right here. If, if they have level one oxygen, then I can get it. Ugh, they do. Ugh. <laughs> Everything takes so long now. There was time now. I got mastery in, uh, in piloting now. In engines. Start working on the shield training. Bum, 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 I love FTL, but when the streak is over, maybe, try, maybe trying another game for a bit would be a thing. Maybe. Oh, Steven. Come on, man. Oh, he's out of missiles. That's nice. Okay, cool. Fucked up, Steven. Oh, it puts him in piloting. Why would he leave shields? Why would he leave shields? He has to bust down two doors now. At least he could have thought that he had a chance. But now he has to bash down two I tell you what, I'll let you get through that one. Just to, just to let you feel better about yourself, NG. Just, okay. 35 scrap, contact the refugees. There we go, 14 scrap on top of it, sure. That was nice, Billy, thanks. Too bad he died. Yeah, well, I mean, that was definitely gonna happen. What's going on, Greg, how you doing today? Okay, they got stuff that I don't need. I wish I had two and a half jumps here, but I don't. Two Stevens. Eh, I don't need two Stevens. NGs don't feel the same. Look, NGs feel, they just feel differently from crappy humans. So they're just superior. All right.
Yeah, I don't need any anything here. I think I should just I wish that I, I thought that I was gonna have maybe two and a half before for this one, but it sucks. Cause I like kinda want the distress, but if I do have to dive twice if I take it. So I think I'm just gonna go here, 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 and then dive. Um we're in sector four. Yeah. Angers me there isn't a flak drone. You could go play Captain's Edition, that probably has it. What is this? What you have a two man pirate ship and your your two NGs. What the fuck is this? What are you doing? You're still boarding me. Okay. Trying to save time. Ah, oh, for Christ's sake. Oh my god. No NG slap fight for us, I guess not. Reduces evasion. 38 scrap. Nice. Contact the civvies. More stuff. Oh, they're all dead. Well, free stuff for me anyway. They were reprogrammed by the Mantis as some horrible practical joke. What if we took the NG and reprogrammed them to think that they were amazing at fighting? That sounds terrible. They're not going to do anything. Yes, but we will record the whole thing and sell it on television. We will broadcast it. As Rock'em Sock'em Angie's, we will make a fortune. It will be amazing. Finally doing serious slug bee business. I have an ultimate boarding team of four mantis. Got hacking, clone bay, teleport, of course. Everything level three. I have room for last one last upgrade. Would mind control prove itself beneficial enough for cloaking is still a better choice? I'd probably get cloaking. Just because if you have four mantis and you have like level three teleporter, like your tell your four man boarding is like you don't really need need it, so I'd so I'd go with the cloaking. Cause yo, it's always nice to dodge missiles. Always nice. And just other crap in general. Alright. Oh, I should have gotten my piloting. Oh, never mind. We can manually search. Yeah, we can manually search. We have a clone bay, so. Anarcher's dead. Oh, no. Whatever are we gonna do? Don't worry. Fight the ship. Attack them. Wow, you have... Okay, that's just... You have a heavy laser and that... Okay. I mean, all right. Whatever. I'm gonna. We're, we're definitely getting a crew kill here. I'm just gonna do this. Good thing he missed, because I think that was hitting my piloting. Maybe it was hitting my doors. Either way. Oh, for Christ's sake. Stupid high-level piloting crap. 
That wasn't on your doors. That was absolutely piloting. I guess we'll never know, because it missed. I don't even really want to engage the hack. I don't think. Oh, for Christ's sake. God, come on, man. <laughs> Why? <laughs> mm. You'll hit something eventually. Will we really, though? Oh my God, we actually did it. I can't fucking believe it. They, they must have level 3 autopilot, but, I mean, Jesus. He ran out of missiles. That's how long this fight's taking right now, okay? Thank God. Get that, though. Fuck out of... They had level 2! Level 2 piloting! That's what they did to dodge all those shots. Oh, no, I didn't even run out of missiles. So you... Never mind, I damaged the system. Good. I'm glad you resisted. Like, I could kill him via, via destroying their oxygen, or just by... I think he, at one point, had enough health where I could just shoot him to death, but... I mean, like... Level 3 oxygen. Wow. Okay. Like, they've evaded too many shots. I just have to stop them from being able to cloak anymore. And to have any evasion, or to have any shields, or anything useful at all. I just don't want them to have it. They really like dodging and breathing. Those are their two favorite things in the world. Their two favorite. Seymour! Is on fire! No, mother, it's just the northern lights. How you doing there, Allison? Hmm? You doing good? Yeah, uh, your ship seems to be on fire. Yeah, it's pretty on fire. <laughs> Gotta patch those shields up. Yeah, how else are you supposed to uh, get oxygen? Shields, that's that's number one way. He's... Oh, no, no. Not enough oxygen in the oxygen room. Not enough in there. 16 scrap and a hull beam. Well, I mean... Okay. Well then. No. Mash it? No. Mash, 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 mash it? No. Oh boy. Not enough oxygen to bother fixing oxygen exactly. Bum, 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 bum. I could get my engines level 5 for the dive. Could get my just save for my hacking level 3. How do rocks even breathe? I don't know. With their mouths? With their rock lungs? Do I look like some kind of a rock scientist? How does Billy even breathe? I have no idea. Boom, 
Bum, 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 bum. I guess I could actually hack his uh, weapons here. Just to fuck up this timing. Ah, I'm just hacking it. What is it? Oh! Not my hacking, you son of a bitch! Alright, let's go civilian, I guess. Boom, boom. I don't have level 2 oxygen, so I gotta want to repair this fast so I don't lose too much health. I should really start using the halberd beam, but the lasers are so much more fun to use. I can actually use the hull beam and not upgrade my weapons at all right now. Yeah, I guess I can do that. The Alanius is all, we're all the way over in piloting. He's not leaving there. Billy, you just forgot about the Alanius, didn't you? Shut up! Oh, man. As you hail the refugee ship, a Zoltan ship suddenly jumps into the system. It claims the refugees are criminals and accuses you of escorting fugitives. I'm not escorting fugitives. You're escorting stupid. Got him. All right, what are you hacking? So this is 13 seconds, 16 seconds, and 20 seconds here, so that's not dangerous. Unless they hack shields. If they hack shields, then this is definitely sketchy. Well, that's just annoying. Whatever, man. Wow, you really just don't like that NG. Okay. I'm not gonna do too much damage to their ship here. I do wanna do want to kind of get a crew kill here, at least a little bit, little, little pretend crew kill, at least, you know? Hmm. Come on, man, don't finish repairing that. Don't do it. Ah, oh, for Christ's sake. I'm just gonna probably blast them. This ship starts with 25 drone parts, so that's how that happened. Nothing, nothing really fancy, highbrow, lowbrow. We just haven't used very many this run. We've just, just been getting some. Oh my god. I'm not using hacking on you. I refuse. I will not take part in, in in your hacking. You're the one that hacked this fight, not me. Alright. Blow them up. 39 scrap and 17 scrap. Okie dokie. Okay, we have a store. I don't really need a store. I'm much more interested in an auto reloader now that we have weapons that actually take time to charge. I'm also kind of interested in, in potentially getting another hull beam or a pike beam, because that means I can just one-shot the flagship, which is uh, always pretty fun. Rapid, unplanned dis disassembly. Damn.
just not gonna spend any money on a sore. I'm just gonna upgrade my my own boat. Cloaking, missile, burst laser three. I hear it has an impressive barrage. That's what I hear. fucked up, but I, whatever, it's fine. I did fuck up, though. I don't know why I hacked their engines. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. It doesn't really matter super, like, at all. But. One Health Williams. That's what they call him. How you doing there, Williams? You doing okay? Are you sitting at one health? Mm, eight missiles. Not good enough, Williams. How do you know it has cloaking beforehand? Like, we can see their system line here. This is what I'm looking at. I'll point it out in the next ship, but like, you can see what systems they have here before you actually fight the ship or see inside at all, Johnny. Not good enough. 37 scrap. Nah, it's, a lot of people don't know that, Johnny. So don't, don't feel bade. Oh, I guess I am going to have to go to this asteroid field. For some reason, I thought this connected up here. This is what happens. This is what happens. What's up, Fisk? How you doing today? You left emergency respirators. Um... Oh no, what are we gonna do? Shoot. I definitely left those. We're probably dead. Awesome bit of attention to detail if they could only offer you as many drones and missiles as a bribe as they actually had left. Yeah. Alright. It would be an awesome bit of a butchin to debut if they could obut butt for as many drones missiles as a bribe as they actually had butt. Woo, man, that's quite a that's quite a lot to take in, butt spot. You can afford to jump to every beacon ever, yeah, for now anyway. So many butts. Just when you thought that we had reached maximum buttitude. I have so many drones, there's not really a good reason for me. What the fuck, Steven? Focus, Steven. Oh my god. Steven, you fucking up, man. You're fucking up right now. I don't appreciate it. Absolutely ridiculous. You make me sick, Steven. And I don't know if I'm gonna go to that store or not. I haven't decided. What's your specialty? My doors for 34 scrap. Now that's actually a decent deal. 
That's 16 scrap off. Do I need level 3 doors? No. I probably... If I don't do this now, I won't get my doors to level 3 for the entire run. So the question is, can we afford 34 scrap? Yeah, we can. Do I want level 3 doors? Eh, kinda. It's kind of funny. Alright. I will acquiesce to your request, Snarfy Bobo. <laughs> Support local business. At least they're not scamming me. The Dutes. Level 3 doors gold plated or something? Yeah. They're butt plated. Oh, for Christing's sake. Oh, Steven's still shooting at the drones, even when he's ionized. What a fucking legend. What an absolute legend. Fuck you. I don't think so. What does uh, the Doors 3 upgrade do? It just makes them more difficult for fires to pass through them. And for, uh, for enemy crew to bash through them as well. That's it. Wow. It absolutely wrecked. Oh, God. Gross. All right, I tell you what, Nick. I'm going to let you on. All right? Listen, Nick, I need you to talk to the captain here. The captain's in charge. He's going to determine whether or not you're on, allowed on board the ship. So just talk, he's going to give you the debrief. He's going to let you know, like, what... You can and can't do. All right, I guess we'll, I guess, according to the captain, you're allowed to stay. According to the captain, you're allowed to stay. We'll, we'll, so we'll clone you. Oh, he says no? Oh, shit, it's too late. We cloned him on accident. Brip, <laughs> To the airlock. Well, we'll man them sensors. Have man sensors. That was a waste of training. Oh, man. What on earth are we going to do without that human piece of training? I don't know. Sensors is the Walmart greeter job of a station. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna just take the exit and then like jump around, jump, jump, uh, jump around, get some extra beacons and we'll dive on the exit afterwards. Uh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Eh, I could go like one, two, three, four, distress. Something like that. Sure. Need more fuel. Yeah. All right, guaranteed double here. Sweet. What are you hacking, man? Hacking my weapons? This guy is cheating. This is outrageous. 
I have to deal with an impressive barrage and a guy that's clearly cheating and hacking my weapons? Absolutely ridiculous. Bum, bum, bum. Turns out it wasn't really all that impressive. Can't believe it. We were misled this whole time. He could have punched more. I'll If he thinks that he can punch more, then he can punch more, and then I'll just vent him again for being insubordinate. 17 scraps, terrible, but 40 scraps, good. Cool. And there we go, three, and then go to the distress. We don't have any distresses. These are all just ship fights. Just get my hacking to level three. It's possible, technically, that we run into a four-shielded ship. Try to lay low, but it spots you. Oh, come on, man. Good job, Steven. Just completely obliterate them. I'm not even going to try and get the crew kill. Impressive door mechanisms, indeed. Yes, it takes them a very, very long time. You've got to imagine, because they're, they're just punching it down, right? They're just punching it down. Their hands are bleeding. Just FYI, like, something that I... Like, a lot of times, if, a, if an enemy is hacking me, um, I won't use the defense drone to shoot it down. But if they have a missile weapon, then I'll just shoot it down. Like, then I'll just turn on the defense drone, and I will, like, actively try and shoot it down as a whole bunch. But, like, if they don't... Uh, if they don't have a missile weapon, then I probably don't really need the defense drone on during the fight. So I just don't bother. Just FYI. Well, I guess I'll just do the small amount of damage here. Yeah. Bear! Oh no, my clombe! What are, what would what would we do if they human died? Oh man! <laughs> yeah, the human better not die. Oh man, it's better not. Nothing bad better happen. What if their what if their hacking came back online and the human was dead? Oh man. Attack the automated ship. Another potential double. Give me them d -d 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 doubles, doubles, doubles. Investigate burst laser mark one. Okay, I could use dual laser, burst laser, heavy laser. It's a little bit weaker than what we're doing right now, though. Although it does fire faster, not faster enough anyway, for me to actually bother doing it. But just saying. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're not doing too bad on fuel, but, you know, we can always use a little bit more. What we really need more than fuel, I would I would say, is missiles. We definitely need more missiles here. I don't know if we're going to be able to beat the flagship with this many missiles. Is there any blue options that I might get for having upgraded any of the things on my ship right now? For distress in a civilian sector? I don't think so. Gonna upgrade those though, and that, and one of these, and one of those. Just replace the duel with the burst, just to use up one more power. <laughs> oh man! All right, prepare to board and investigate. Let me let me double check on this one. I don't think that I can do this one. Refugee ship, communications down. Oh no, this is this is the uh, refugee ship drifting through space. Yeah, yeah, we can do this. This is why I always get confused. It's the station, the station. This was this is the cannibals one. The station is the one where it's like could be a disease or some shit. So. <laughs> I wish that I could send in the human, but we'll see. Ah, oh, we got a we got a crew. It looks as if the ship ran out of fuel and the crew ran out of food not long after. Despite the grisly scene that remains, you find one surviving crewman locked in the freezer, almost perfectly preserved and apparently overlooked by the starving crew. Yeah, they ate all the rest of the crew, so I mean that's just all they have left. I like to I like to point out how nobody reminded me to name the human. Oh Viz, oh Viz, oh no Viz, <clears throat> oh Viz. I am so sorry, Viz. Look, the results, the tests don't lie. All right, the results are back, and it. It's confirmed that you are a disgusting human. You make me sick. May God have mercy on your soul. Send me out the airlock and turn off the clone bay. There you go. Help help the help the captain. Help the captain, Viz. Help the captain. Help the captain, Viz. Come on, help the captain, Viz. If, I tell you what, we'll play the we'll play the lottery. If the clone bay gets hit by the ASB, then we'll let you die. But if you do, if it doesn't, then you have to live. Uh, or, the, or the small bomb, I guess. You get a double whammy. Seconding how giddy you get when someone suffocates to death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, am I really that? Am I really that awful? I'm just crappy humans. I might be able to jump away. Damn, I still didn't have the frame. Oh well. Are we gonna? Are you gonna die? Where's the? Oh, it missed. Turns out you have to live. <gasps> we got Rebel Stronghold. Ooh, awesome. Cool. You had two chances. And unfortunately, you have to live. Just let me die already. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Get wrecked. You're stuck. You're stuck. You have to do your job, Viz. 
which is currently to not die. Who knows? Maybe you'll get to get vented later. <laughs> so we're looking for a beacon with no ship detected like this to try and find the mini flagship. Rebel Stronghold is my favorite sector in the game, has one of the best events in it, in the game in it. So hopefully we find it. Nope. Could be here. Could be here, too. If it is there, I don't think there's any real point in me trying to go. Go there. How long can you juggle the human in the clone bay? How long can I juggle him in the clone bay? As long as I want to. As long as I pay attention enough to not let him die or get cloned. Ah. Uh, I've only got 36 fuel, man, but I, I guess, all right, fine. Isn't a three second countdown on the clone bay? Right, but I can turn it, I can turn it on when I jump, right? And then turn it off before he actually gets cloned. Yeah, but what if somebody else dies and then they need to clone after him? I guess I could clone him. And then, like, let him die again and then put him back in the buffer. Nice! We found it. You arrive at the beacon to find yourself in a huge rebel shipyard, scaffolding and construction drones filling the sector. The entire system looks devoted to ship construction. The nearby planets and moons ruthlessly mine to harvest resources for a ship of immense size. So we get a guaranteed uh, five of each resource, high scrap reward, free weapon, and it delays the fleet by two jumps for this one. So it's very, very good. I don't need to get a crew kill, but we could. We don't get a better reward for getting a crew kill against this ship. We always get a max value reward. What's up, Dueler? How you doing today? 59 scrap, a firebomb, fleet delayed, five of each. Very nice. The rebels are all human, yes. And then we get the dialogue about the Federation cruiser here. As you're leaving, you detect an interesting Federation ship signal. Apparently, the rebels were reverse engineering the advanced weaponry on a prototype Federation cruiser. You don't know how they captured the ship intact, but you program its FTL drive to return the ship to the nearest Federation base. You just hope it gets there unharmed. Asteroid field, stupid butt droids. Tiki approves of burning humans. Hooray! Of course she does. Wow, that's a dangerous weapon setup you got there. Dangerous, dangerous. You would have had to actually hit some shots there for it to be actually dangerous, but you know. Pretty dead to me. All right, let's check out the store. You guys have a beam weapon? No, you have a flak, but eh, I don't really need it. A 
I could use the firebomb versus the first phase of the flagship. Could use the shield charge booster versus the second phase of the flagship. Hope we don't get flack for not taking that. Backup DNA bank for Viz. Oh no. Why would you be so cruel? I got the shield charge booster. It's pretty useful. 15% faster shield um, <clears throat> recharge rate. Add that onto our rocks mastery. It's pretty cool. The second phase of the flagship just has so many drones flying at you at once. It's a pretty useful thing to have there. Yeah, I don't know. I I wouldn't mind just using the uh, like we could use firebomb, halberd beam, heavy laser versus the first phase and just kind of burn them out and get all but one of their crew dead. It's not really necessary. I could just try and get that last laser or last beam weapon to just one-shot the ship because currently we're capable of dealing 18 points of damage between these two. So if we can get another hull beam or a pike beam or a halberd beam, that would be fine. We need cloaking. We don't have room for cloaking. We only have room for the eight systems like usual. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold on to what I have right now. It does mean our store is like our, our storage is like pretty full. Uh, can afford to pick up one augment and two uh, two weapons. You can put drones in the actual drone slots, so it's not too big of a deal. But pointless level is a vengeance. Even two would be nice. Not nah, defense strong ones, all I really need. Nah. <laughs> Woof! Good job, Steven. Good job, Steven there. Steven, I didn't even realize that was happening. Come on, Steven. Good job, Steven. Okay, 49 scrap. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm gonna like loop down here, then go back up to the top, I guess. I'm trying to make much as much out of the sector as I can. Seven jumps. Still, I still, still could hit another one. Mm. It's not laid out like that, though. Yeah. I guess I should probably get my shields to level 4. Normally I would never get level anything above level 5 engines until I got level 4 shields, but... Send an away party to investigate. Ooh. I knew we'd catch some Federation fish with this signal. Prepare to be boarded, scum! Oh, okay. Enjoy. I'm not gonna use my mind control on my ship. I'm gonna use it on uh, on their ship. All right. Whatever. 
Poor NG. Getting your ass kicked. Air human. Hey. I said you fight him. Human. Oof. more weapons for you. A human calling non-human ship scum. The notions, yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, you poor bastard. No? There we go. Silly. Silly humans. Aw, oh, that sucks that that's a crappy beacon. We're not gonna get any scrap off of that beacon. But I wanted scrap! Who sent the surrender? His corpse. They do that sometimes. Okay. I can use a defense drone, but we're guaranteed to take hull damage and we lose a drone. Eh, let's do it anyway. Alright. But we get a guaranteed reward, too. Get a laser charger. We'll just uh, plan on selling that. Ion Storm. We have 20 bars of power to work with. Or 10 bars of power. Use the backup battery too as needed. Let's see. Yeah, it's just too bad the sector isn't laid out a little bit better. Okay. I could use my piloting here. Manually search, we're guaranteed to get something, but we can lose crew. And this is just a no-risk chance at a, at a free reward. Does the battery give full energy in an ion storm? Yeah, it gives you whatever it would normally give, Ms. Demeter. Eh. Hey, we got a second Steven. Aw. Steven was all lost out here. Oh, I guess I, I, guess I can go to this beacon here, the store. So we have five jumps till we gotta go to the exit, so I can go one and a half, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, sure, shit. Okay. Sounds good. An auto reloader. Okie dokie. That's the third auto reloader we were offered this run. That's the first one that we actually bought. The auto reloader, but still. Who put Steven in the clone bay? That's not allowed. It's very much against the rules. Alright. Uh yeah, I don't know. I could keep the other Steven. He could just come along for the ride. I'm going to probably use the whole beam after the first phase of the flagship. There's not really any reason for me not to. Because we could even uh, one-shot the flagship. We got another beam weapon. So that's why we're holding on to the hull. Yeah, if the one Steven gets uh, blown up, then we could switch. Or, or if he just fucks up enough, yeah. Okay. Alrighty. We're always just getting boarded on this event in a solar flare, so nothing exciting. 
quick. Get him, Viz. Get him, Viz. You got him. You got him, Viz. Good job, Viz. You're doing great. Keep fighting, Viz. Great job, Viz. Oh, no. Oh, Viz, no. Whatever will we do? Your non-human crew is a healing, uh, give your non-human crew the healing they deserve. Or else I think you're a human sympathizer. They are healing every single jump. Get him, Viz. Good job, Viz. You got him. See, I told you. Oh, no. Viz is dead. Whatever will we do? Yeah, that event is pretty terrible. It's not, I don't know if it's like actually the worst, but it is like a just, like you know for a fact you're getting exactly that beacon when you see that, which sucks. So I definitely like to call it that. Don't get blown up, Steven. Good job, Steven. Viz is taking intruders head on and still coming out a winner as a human. You mean a loser as a human. I'm sure that's what you mean. 37 scrap. Okie dokie. I can get my shields to level 4. Doo doo. Winner by cheating with a clone bay. Yeah. 15 missiles. Okay. There you go. Zoltan shield bypass. God damn it. I don't have any use for that. Stupid Zoltan shield bypass. Ooh, Mantis Homeworlds. Uh. All right. Can get a bunch of crew kills there. We can find Kazak Plethkalik if we get lucky. Uh, and I sh I'm gonna just get my sensors to level three and clone bay to level two since we have so much extra money. Nice. I need five more scrap for that. With sensors level three, clone bay level two, we can complete the Kazakh Plethkalik quest. Giant alien spiders, get in there! Get in there, Viz! Oh, Viz, no! <laughs> uh, your crew boards the station, cautiously moving between corridors. Suddenly, a man-sized arachnid burst from a vent in the ceiling, followed by countless more. You fight your way back to the airlock and are forced to leave behind, leave before accounting for all crew members. Oh no! Somebody didn't didn't check to see if Viz escaped with us versus the giant alien spiders. Oh man! Shoot! Oh man! <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. He got cloned again. I mean, oh, welcome back, Viz. Your ship would make a mighty fine prize. Prepare for battle. Okay. So this ship would normally, we'd be able to let them, like, they'll decide to run away after enough damage to their hull. And then, like, we could... Uh, follow them. We could track them to another beacon where we fight a more difficult version of the ship, and then we could. Um. Something. So we could get a guaranteed weapon from that as a reward, but. Eh. We're not gonna do that here. Get him, Viz.
You know what? Forget this. Oh, shoot, Viz. You didn't get him. Oh, no. The end, she literally... Anarcher literally just fucking stole that fucking kill. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> 41 scrap. Nice. All right. We'll get our clone beta level two and we'll see if we can't find ourselves a uh, Kazakh Plethkalik. Have fist, but I'm still useless in a fight. Well, when you go fist versus razor sharp mantis claws, definitely at a bit of a disadvantage. Oh my god, it's the legendary thief, Kazakh Plethkalik. Your crew look frightened, especially Viz. Viz is very concerned about this fight and his likelihood of survival. Oh no. Viz, get him, Viz. Get him, Viz. We, we, we need to get a crew kill on this ship, just FYI. Oh no, Viz is down. What are we gonna do? Level three clone bay. Or that teleporter bay. Level three, Michael Bay. Maybe we add F exclamation point FDL wiki to the stream name just so that people know it exists. Okay, I can do that underground. Put on your snarl scary face. Oh, it's so spoopy. Yeah, no problem though. Okay. No more life signs are detected aboard their ship. You appear to have won. Quickly scan their ship for survivors. You detect Kazakh Plethkalik slumped in a corner, dying. Quickly configure the clone bay to save him. Your haste is paid off, and you register him into the clone bay's database. After he passes away, he is quickly reconstructed to onboard your ship. When the census returned, he says, I never thought I would see this day, but I am willing to devote myself and my ships to your cause. That's what he sounds like. So we get Mantis Pheromones, which I actually can't use, and then um, get Kazakh Click and 60 scraps. That's good. Sorry, Mantis Pheromones. Anarch already has a name. Yamp. Uh, no, you already have a name, too. All right, Shadow. Zomantis definitely would sound like, yeah. That's actually what slugs sound like, so it's not really fair for me to do that. Still gives me the option here. Like, long range scanners aren't really all that great right now. But, uh, well, actually, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they're just not all that great right now, and I can just get Mantis Pheromones. Not that I really need it, but. 
Trying to think of what Simpsons voice that's from. It's not from The Simpsons. It's like a kind of like an Ed Wynn voice, kind of like the Mad Hatter. Or um, more recently, King Candy. That's he didn't do the voice. Uh, Alan Tudyk did for King Candy in uh, Wreck-It Ralph, but. Yeah, from the original Alice in Wonder Wonderland. That's where I think that's the. It's like Ed Wynn's voice. He's not like doing a voice. I'm sure he's doing a voice or whatever, but that's like his the way that he talks. Maxed out sensors. You don't do that often. Can't get Kazakh Pleth Click without maxed sensors. So you know you got to do it every once in a while. Yeah, I'll just keep the long-range scanners. The Mantis pheromones just don't do anything for me. Value point drones. Yeah, I should probably do that. Gotta keep Steven online. Alright, how many jumps do I got for that exit? Looks like eight. Would you rather place Vic with an NG or leave him as human? Um, I mean, we'll probably just vent him just because he's a gross human. Just because it doesn't, it doesn't really matter at this point. It, he is definitely like more useful than an NG would be right now, technically. But better replace him with a slug yeah that would be great 65 scrap and a small bomb you arrive at the small asteroid field and discover the hidden cache among the, among the debris you input the codes given to you by by cosmic cliff click and find a weapon inside okay It's kind of hard to get seven in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I specifically have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I want seven out of this sector. Sure. I only have 30 fuel. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get out of this sector. Oh, okay. Better aid the civilian ship. They're being attacked by mantis. M -m 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 mantis. Just gonna make sure these mantis are just thoroughly confused and have no fucking idea where they should be going. Alright. Perfect. Alright. Come on, Steven. Oh, man. You guys are in pretty deep shit right now. Stop repairing that. <laughs> oh no, Kizzy. You're looking pretty screwed. 
I think your oxygen's not working right now. There you go. That's for you. Let's take that heavy laser. I didn't want to do the extra point of damage just in case, like, it actually started a fire and then it, like, burned down somehow. Oh my god, a scrap recovery arm. Contact the civilians. Oh my god. Oh, it's, look, so the human's good at fighting, but the, uh, so is the Angie, so they're better, right? <laughs> All right, Viz, congratulations. You are no longer forced into being a human. So, I mean, we have this Angie. They're willing to join the ship. Take your name, and they're not a disgusting, filthy human. So, have fun out there in space. All right, we'll catch you later. Ah! Ah! Human purge. Thank you so very much for the 200 bits, McKean. Appreciate it. All the love. Five here. Okay. Event the new Viz uh, once for old time's sake. Nah, he's got that level of training. I wouldn't want to lose that. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't want to. Wouldn't want to lose that. Now would I? All right. This scrap recovery arm is gonna be worth more than the long range scanners at this stage of the run. So. Pry it open. Could be a mantis in there. Oh, gross. It's a disgusting human. Get the fuck out of here. Ah! Disgusting. How dare you. I'm thinking I'm still going to use the firebomb versus the first phase. Too bad you can't just uh, clone the humans to kill them over and over again. Oh, I mean, I could. Definitely could. Gotta keep the scrap recovery arm. How else are we supposed to make more money during this run? I'd love to have that... Ah! Sound that Billy makes when he vents someone uh, as a sound for the notifications on my phone. Each time I receive an email, a human gets vented. Ah! <laughs> what about dual firebombs? Do they have firebomb here? Oh, they do. Oh, hmm. Good points. Could do that. I wish they had a fire beam. I would prefer a fire beam here. But, I guess. Burst 3 is not worth it. I'm gonna get value point weapons. I actually, it's not really value point. But. Uh, teleporter signal detected intruder on deck. Side with a fugitive. Welcome aboard, Starger. Congratulations, Viz. You are being upgraded yet again. Uh, well, depending on who you talk to, whether or not this is an upgrade or not is kind of questionable. But, uh, we'll catch you later, NG. Uh, I can't let you aboard that ship. I gotta vent you into space. Uh, sorry about that. Somebody's definitely gonna come pick you up before you die. Don't worry. People are always looking for NGs, all right? Have fun out there. Ah! Upgrade another NG? No, 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 no. 
He had combat training. Yeah, but he's still an NG. Look. <laughs> All right. Look at this ship, by the way. Get microed. gonna get a crew kill here. Who am I kidding? Should have just swiped more aggressively at them. Forty-seven scrap a do. Must have had some bad experience with drones in the past. Yeah, they ran into a ship that had like four combat drones and they had no shields. And they're just like, why? Never again. <laughs> Ah, really? I don't have a human to come and fight you, which is very sad. Oh, you actually did damage to it. Oh, whatever. Jesus Christ, delayed. Holy shit! <laughs> you can't just combine. Can't just combine Sequisha and Sim like that. Look at that. Look at how close that exit is. Jesus. All right. Do, 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 to the last stand. You arrive in an outpost close to the Federation base. Your access codes get you past initial security and an officer sets up a direct feed to the Federation base's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, what the hell's the meaning of this? Who are you? Get the hell out of here. You can't just come in here with the halberd beams. Look, I see all those, I see all those fire bombs you have in there. All right, that's definitely not allowed. You can't have that many fire bombs. That's illegal. God damn it. Explain the weakness. Your explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism. Explain your mission. Your explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief amongst the officers. General Terzil of the Endgame Brigade speaks up. No, you're not. You're you're the door, NG. General Terzil of the Indian Brigade speaks up. Like, oh my god, you guys, Intel suggests potential counter durable technology. Riscoy saved none of it. You guys didn't even know that. I knew about it like two weeks ago. Becky was telling me about it. There's this giant flagship, and we totally have to, like, blow it up, or we're all totally screwed. Like, you don't even know. Oh my god. Let's get a crew kill here. All right. Wow, they almost did me damage. 
74 scrap. Our shields almost regenerate by the time that last one hits. I think if we had a second uh, shield recovery, whatever, augment, then that would work. 74 scrap's amazing. And, wow, more than 100 scrap. Thanks, scrap recovery arm. You're the greatest, kind of, sometimes. Sometimes you're the greatest. Sometimes you're just okay. But right now you're doing good. More value points and weapons. Your shield did recharge in time. No, we dodged the first shots. Sorry, sir, this is nothing personal. Sub blah blah blah. I have no use without a water fight. Nope. Oh my god, that poor guy's dead. You're friggin' dead, man. You're dead. What the f- Whatever, I'm blowing you up. I don't have time for your bullshittery. <laughs> I wanted him to be in the shields, clearly. Oh, there's a store. I don't want it, but there's a store there. It's a lot of upgrades. Bum, 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 bum. Quickly move it to assist. Burst laser one, burst laser two, burst laser three, 11, 12, and 19 seconds. What? This guy is straight up cheating. Insane. All right. I can't believe we got dealt the point of damage. I am absolutely outraged. Better get another level of engines. Got to do it. Gotta do it. Fight the rebel flagship, of course. Or the rebel ship that's not the flagship. attention again oh uh, look at all this damage I'm taking look at this look at this. this is fucking ridiculous it's all my fault took two points of damage hey we got don't even we got we got repaired never punished god damn it Yeah, that's right. Retract that stab butt. Retract it. <laughs> okay, uh, we're gonna use fire bombs and what else are we gonna use? Do I use the halberd beam? I could. The heavy laser also starts fires. The halberd beam uh, is nice, though, because we can actually deal damage to their... Like, their missiles and piloting and shields right off the bat. It does mean I deal 8 damage to their ship right away, but I think we'll be okay.
Better lucky than good. That's right. That's right. Feels like a meme run. It's a little bit of a meme run when we're when we're deciding to use like, you know, all this kind of random garbage against the flagship. Sure. All right, we're gonna see what they're gonna hack, and if it looks like they're gonna hack something garbage. They're hacking my doors, so that's fine. I'll just let that happen. I'll get Steven online. Actually, I could probably stand to have the backup battery. God damn it, Steven. Ooh, they both hit. What the fuck? All right, that's great. <laughs> I didn't think they were both going to hit. But that's really good that they did. What if door hack opened all of your doors, all of them? Then it would be much worse when we would get hacked in doors. I would actually probably care a little, at least a little bit. Well, I tried. Tell you what, you're all allowed into your shields, but only if you fight to the death. Sorry, did you just like put out put out those fires? No, 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 no. <laughs> I want this guy to not die, so I'm, I'm I want him to stay alive at least for now. That way, his third phase will have less evasion. Dude, your ship is really on fire right now. I don't know if you knew that, but it's like pretty on fire. All right. There we go. All right. The laser is actually going to be better for this, I think. Oh, there's no other places to get money. Lame. God damn it. Fine. Whatever, I guess. Let's wait on the base for the second phase. I don't need any other. I can get, get another level of this. But I think I'd rather just get the backup battery max. It, none, none of it really matters, but. Kill another ship for the score? Nah. It's possible that, like, th I could take a lot of damage on a dive. 
It's not likely, but it's possible, so. All right, Steven. Steven's back in action. I think we hack pretty much. We think we're supposed to hack right away with this. It is a little risky, a little bit. These humans look like steamed hams. Oh my god. You mean steamed clams? Mmm, steamed clams. Plenty of steamed clams. Why is there smoke coming out of your oven, Seymour? Uh, oh, that isn't smoke. It's steam. Steamed from the steamed clams we're having. Mmm, steam clam. Mmm, 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 mmm,
Uh, level three hacking, level three drones, level two backup battery, level three piloting sensors and doors. think they'd be out of funds after you destroyed 65 of them dude they just they just keep making the money you know what it is bumper stickers make a ton of money on bumper stickers shit bumper stickers lots of stretch goals for each weapon system you have all right, uh, I am going to guess 6,333. Oh, too fucking high. God damn it. 6,118. Oh my God, there's some, some close ones, but not, I think a lot of people are over. 6,118. Two off, Ashes. God damn it. Two off. Rip and pepperonis. It's closest without going over, though. Uh, let's see. Who is the... Who is... Is anybody 6,000 even? Otherwise, who is the closest? Six thousand eighty on Koopa, yeah. Six thousand eighty going once. Six thousand sixty-five is lower. Six thousand eighty going twice. Six thousand eighty on Koopa. I think you got it, Koopa. Congratulations. You have not only won our respect and admiration, much more importantly, you also have won some sincere gratitude. So, you know, make sure you take that sincere gratitude, invest it, go to the bank of sincere gratitude in space and butts and uh, invest it. It's definitely worth it. It's 42 ships defeated, 104 beacons explored, 2,199 scrap collected, 11 crew hired, 6118. Not too bad.